Try the emergency channels. Picture Mr. Savick. Slow to one half impulse power. Let's be friends. Slowing to one half impulse power. Rely on in our section, this squadron, sir. And slow. Sir, may I quote General Order 12 on the approach of any vessel when communications have not been established? Lieutenant, the Admiral is well aware of the regulations. Aye, sir. Is it possible that comm system has failed? It would explain a great many things. They're requesting communication, sir. Let them eat static. They're still running with shields down. Of course. We are one big happy fleet. Ah, Kirk, my old friend. Do you know the Klingon proverb that tells us revenge is a dish that is best served cold? It is very cold in space. This is damn peculiar. Yellow alert. Energized defense fields. I'm getting a voice message. They say their chambers coil is overloading their comm system. Spock. Scanning. Then coil emissions are normal. They still haven't raised their shields. Raise ours. Their shields are going up. Lock faces and ties. Locking phases on target. They're locking phases. Ray shields. Fire! Sure, get those shields up. Keep trying, sir. <laughs> They knew exactly where to hit us. Who? Who knew where to hit us? And why? One thing is certain. We cannot escape on auxiliary power. Visual. Sulu, divert all power to phasers. Too late. Hang on! Enough against their shields. The hell are they? Admiral, the commander of the Reliant is signaling. He wishes to discuss terms of our surrender. Put it on screen. Ad Do it. Oh, we still have time. On screen, sir. Come. You still remember, Admiral. 
I cannot help but be touched. I, of course, remember you. What is the meaning of this attack? Where is the crew of the Reliant? Surely I have made my meaning plain. I mean to avenge myself upon you, Admiral. I deprive your ship of power, and when I swing around, I mean to deprive you of your life. But I wanted you to know first who it was who had beaten you. Come. If it's me you want, I'll have myself beamed aboard. Spare my crew. I make you a counter-proposal. I'll agree to your terms if, if, in addition to yourself, you hand over to me all data and material regarding the project called Genesis. Genesis? What's that? Don't insult my intelligence, Kirk. You give me some time to recall the data on our computers. I give you 60 seconds, Admiral. Clear the bridge. At least we know he doesn't have Genesis. Keep nodding as though I'm still giving orders. But Savick, punch up the data charts of Reliance Command Console. Reliance Command? Array. 45 seconds. The prefix code? It's all we've got. Charts up, sir. Admiral. We're finding it. Admiral. Please. Please, you've got to give us time. The, the bridge is smashed. The computer's inoperative. Time is a luxury you don't have. Admiral. Damn. Admiral, it's coming through now, Cobb. Reliance prefix number is 16309. I don't understand. You have to learn why things work on a stash. Each ship has its own combination code prevent an enemy from doing what we're attempting. Using our console to order Reliant to lower her shield. Assuming he hasn't changed the combination, he's quite intelligent. Fifteen seconds, Admiral. Khan, how do we know you'll keep your word? Well, I've given you no word to keep, Admiral. In my judgment, you simply have no alternative. I see your point. Stand by to receive our transmission. Assume lock phasers on target and await my command. Phasers locked. Time's up. Admiral. Here it comes. Now, Mr. Spock. Sir, our shields are dropping. Raise them! I can't! Where's the override? The override! Fire! 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 We can't fire, sir! Why can't you? They've damaged the proton control and the warp drive! We must withdraw! No! No! no. We must! Enterprise, we wait. She's not going anywhere. Sir, you did it. I did nothing. Except they cobbled my britches down. Mr. Savick, you go right on quoting regulations. <laughs> 